Let's start the first hands-on about the unique ID. The purpose of this hands-on is to check the unique ID of a STM32L476RG and the possibility to shrink it. The first step, I would say, is to open the reference manual and to search the location of the register. So if I open the reference manual, okay, and if you search in this documentation, you will find the chapter about the unique device ID registers. Here you've got the bad address of those registers and detailed about the contents. At this address, we will find the X and Y coordinate on the wafer. Then if I scroll down at offset four, we will have load number and we will have a wafer number, then load number again, okay? So I copy all those value here just to remind. So once we've got this, I propose we connect the board. Then I will launch Cube Programmer. And OK, my ST link is detected. Let's connect. First, by default, it should show you the flash memory. So we will enter this value to check the unique ID. 1FFF7590. The size, I would say C should be enough, but it doesn't matter. So here, we've got our unique ID. Just for clarification, let's limit the range. OK. So here we've got at offset zero, X and Y coordinates. Then we will have a load number, wafer number, and load number and load number again. So I just sum up for you those information here. As you can see, I just copy them directly. So it's exactly the same value. On your side, obviously, it's a different value. But it's just to show you how it's organized and the fact that those slot numbers are here coding in ASCII. And it was on those slot numbers that we can shrink some bits in the unique ID. So let's see how. In fact, I got the information that those slot numbers are coded with a value between 0 and 9 and capital letter A to Z and also space. So if you convert it in hexadecimal, you will find value from 20 hexadecimal to 5a. And if you just check how many components is here, it could be coded on 6 bits. So that means you can save 14 bits thanks to these tricks, I would say. You can decrease the 96 bit to 82 bits for the unique ID. So it could be interesting for you. I hope you like this hands-on and now let's switch to the next part.